In this video, I'll show you how you can make your text pop up while speaking. So it's actually pretty simple. Here I have a video clip of uh, this guy boxing and I have this audio clip over here as well. So let's listen to this audio clip and then we'll just get started with this. If you think luck is involved in achieving, you'll never make it. All right, a little bit of motivational audio over there. So we'll use this audio and create our text effect. So let's zoom into our timeline over here. And what we are going to do is we'll find the very first word where this uh, audio starts to play. So right over here, I think uh, the speaker starts speaking his first word. So what we are going to do is we're going to hit M on the keyboard to create a marker. Now, if you select your video clip and hit M, the marker will be created on your video track. Also, if you uh, select your audio track and hit M, the marker will be created on the audio track itself. But if nothing is selected and you hit M on the keyboard, then the marker will be created at the top on the timeline itself. So it's completely up to you where you want to place your marker. I'm going to put it at the top and then we can just double click on the marker. And uh, in the name field over here, we're going to type in our first word, which is if and then I'm going to click on done and then I'll just move forward to the next word. So right over here, we can see the waveform is going up. This is a dead giveaway that this is going to be your next word. So I'm going to put my playhead right over that uh, waveform and hit M again. So make sure nothing is selected, hit M and we'll create another marker, double click on that and type in the second word, which in this case is you and click on done. And then you just have to repeat this process for the entire length of your audio clip. So I'm going to do one more and then I'll just fast forward this part. So over here is the next one. Hit M on the keyboard and double click on the marker and just type in your text. OK, now I'll just fast forward this part and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have finished adding all these markers. Now, the next step you have to do is go to the titles and find text and just drag it onto the timeline. And then we can just trim it down to match the length of this clip. And now what we have to do is with the blade tool, we can just make the cuts in our text layer over here. So uh, with the help of these markers, it, it just becomes much easier to cut your layer, uh, provided that you have enabled the snapping. So I'll just uh, start cutting this text near these markers. So it just snaps into these markers and just makes it really easy. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is uh, we'll just get rid of this text layer as there is nothing at the beginning, so just delete it. Our uh, speech starts at this point, so I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to change the text. Uh, so I'm going to type in the first word, which is if, and it's all in uh, uppercase, but that's just a personal preference. And the second text, we're going to select that. And by any chance, if you forget what the audio was, you can simply hover your mouse over this marker. It just shouts at you that you have to write you in this text field. So just select that and type in you. And you just have to repeat the process with other text layers as well. Select it and then hover over the marker. If you forget what you have to type, type in that word. And you just have to do this process for all of these text layers. So again, this process is again a repetitive. So I'm just going to fast forward this part and I'll be back when I make all these changes. All right, guys, after you make changes to all of your text, then this is how it is going to look. If you think luck is involved in achievement, you'll never make it. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move all of these text layers on their separate video tracks. So I'm just going to select the second text over here and just move it to a new track and do the same thing with other text as well. So just make sure that they are on their own tracks. So just drag it up like so. And you can also ease this process by going into the timeline view options and make sure that the video track height is set to the minimum value over here. And uh, that way you will get more space. So you can just move this around and find more space to make this process a bit easier. So just move it to a new track, just simply drag it up and with the snapping turned down, it just becomes much easier. Okay, now what we want to do is, as you can see, our text doesn't remain for the entire duration. So if you take a look at this very first word, it just um, disappears after a few frames. We want to make sure that it stays for the entire length of this clip. So just simply drag it out and match it up with the length of your audio clip like so and do the same thing with all these layers all right so once you finish it this is how it is going to look like 
Now we just need to lay out our text. So we're going to start at the beginning and then we can just uh, select that layer, the text itself, and then we can make changes to it. So we can change uh, the font, we can change the color, the size and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to settings and I'm just going to change the position and uh, just put it at the top left corner over here and we'll start somewhere over there and then I'm going to go to the next text layer change its position as well so now it's all about placing your text customizing it to your liking so for example this word uh, I just want to make it a bit more prominent the U word itself so I can just select that and I can make it bold like that and you can change its color as well so it just uh, emphasizes this text yeah, that's all about it you just have to customize it and just play around with the positioning and all that stuff so just feel free to change with any font that you want so you don't have to use many fonts just keep it uh, between like three uh, three to four fonts three to four different fonts and just play around with uh, the colors and the size and the tracking amount as well um, so yeah just uh, keep on uh, mixing it up okay so after you are done with this after you are done with designing all of you the layout this is how it is going to look if you think luck is involved in achieving you'll never make it so yeah i think that looks pretty cool and it is quite easy to do this effect now you can see you have made this small mountain of yours of these text video tracks so what we can do is in order to reduce this we can just uh, select all of our text video tracks and right click on it and select new compound clip then we can call it text and click on create now with this compound clip you can do anything that you want you can zoom into this you can change the position you can even rotate it and do all kinds of stuff with this you can even select it and go to fusion and you can also add effects to this so for example we can add something like uh, maybe a glow so uh, let's add a glow to this that looks pretty cool right so that's it for this video guys i hope this video was helpful if it was then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. If you think luck is involved in achievement, you'll never make it. You'll never be successful with those beliefs.